I don't know why I keep talking like this, but I'm carrying on anyway, and I just don't know what I'm talking about, so... Welcome back to the channel, and thanks for tuning in, as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Today I am going to do a job that was a failed EICR I, that I didn't do the EICR, someone else has done that. Um, this customer just asked me to quote the remedial works and I did and I'm going to do that. One, that's not the point of what I'm doing on this video, one of the EICR failures, so unsatisfactories, was 21 of the down lights had the basic insulation showing which is pretty common it's only a, it's a fairly new build so it's been like that since brand new as we all know it's pretty common to find that so i quoted the job to change uh, to repair that by using the quick wire um, t connector and socket the down lights that i've got the issue i've seen a picture of them um, are the kind where they're not really made for two twin and earths to go in, they're made for a flex. Uh, we all know the kind, I'll probably put a picture on the screen, I might put a picture of the down lights in question. Which is where the quick wire come in. So uh, I've got a full, well, I've even set my table up to do this little demonstration and then I'm going to go to the job and I'll show you the finished product so to speak. So quick wire if you're watching. Um, I got up half an hour early to film this little segment, so hope you're happy about that, because I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the um, why they're good, why they work so well, why I chose to use them for this job, and why before this job I didn't think I'd ever use them, to be honest, but I am. Anyway, yeah, so they come in the boxes like this, you get this socket. No, don't know what that is. The socket, yeah, the socket and the plug separately, but they come under one part number. Well, they did from the wholesalers I got them from, which was a local wholesaler. They come with a little instruction sheet. You can buy the twin and earth stripper separate. Um, very, very, very similar to uh, there's the website and stuff. Very similar to the Nipex version of these, but probably a fraction of the price. The reason I bought these is just because it's got that little 22mm mark there. Because I'm doing that many, and the 22mm is what you need on, if you can see it on the back of this, the socket part. The socket part, it shows you the stripped dimensions and that does it perfectly, so instead of faffing about, I just thought I might as well get it for the price, it was pretty cheap. Any of this bits and bobs, I'll stick a link in the description, you can go and find it there. So yeah, we've got the socket which is where your two twin and earths go in the top and then you've got the plug which where your flex comes out, you plug that in and obviously the other end of your flex goes to your down lights so I'm just going to quickly connect one of these up I could have prepared all of these with so I just had uh, all my flexes hanging out the end of the plugs like so and then gone to the job and it would have been quicker like quicker on the day I do i didn't know this at the time when i bought these but they do actually make these with pre-flexed leads so you can pick like half a meter or something or 300 mil of flex pre-wired uh, which save you a bit of time as well and uh, i'll connect one up now obviously the flex side i'll connect that up now and i'll uh, tell you what i do and don't like about it Right, so let me just try and get my camera angle banged on so you can pretty much see everything I'm doing. Right, so you get your flex such as that. I'm just using a bit of uh, one mil three core flex and it says to strip the flex about, let's have a look, it says it on the back of this tool, 27 mil, which I guess. And the rain begins, so I'm going to strip them as you would any flex and Give them a little twist. I'm going to put some ferrule crimps on the end of these just because I prefer to. You don't have to, I don't think. 
which I've got over here. There's some, these, this is the French colour, so this is uh, for one mil, it's red. It's because I bought those feral crimps, these ones, about seven years ago, that's before I even knew YouTube or Instagram existed. I do like, quite like the look of the Perceiver ones. But these work well, and I've uh, been using them for years, so I can't really complain. Right, there, there's that flexed up lead with the crimps on, so I'll bang that in the plug side now. Uh, so you've got wrong way around there, aren't you? So you've got live, earth, neutral, in that order, nicely in there. Nice and neat. You get your cheap and nasty screwdriver from Screwfix, which is really good, by the way, for the price. Connect them up. Right, so pretty quick. They do actually have. I'll have a look in a second, then, actually. So that's that connected up nice and tight. Then they've got one side's got the cord grip, the other side's got the lock on it. So what you got to do is you pull the cord grip side round first. Bang your flex in there nice and tight like that, so it's, you've got one side sort of done. And then click them together, and that's that done. That's that bit done. Obviously this side then goes to your downlight, where you can't get two twin nerves in properly. So that's that. They do sell them like this though, so like I said, you could save yourself a bit of time. Alright, so whilst I'm here at the table, I might as well give you a little demonstration of the actual plug. Or the socket, sorry, I keep getting these mixed up. This is the T-connector, I think it's a fairly new uh, thing. They've got a little viewing window there so you can see when your cores are going in. So yeah, right, so what you do with that is, you get your stripper. I'm trying to get this all in camera so it's a bit awkward. Hold the end of it to about 22mm, which is marked on the side as you can see. Whip that off like that, it's as quick as that. Keep them, keep them tight to each other like so. And then if you line that very tip of it up there with the edge of your twin earth, if, can you see what I mean by that? That bit at the end. So right up with your sheath, then strip it again, you end up with that. You can see that that. So then you just want to look on the side, you've got live earth, neutral, depending which way you look at it, obviously. You want to get them in each individual slot there. That pushes in. Watch the card grip as it grabs the uh, twin and earth sheaf and that's it it's locked in there that is mad tight in there it's not going nowhere so that's one side of your twin and earth done I'll just leave that like that okay 22 mil roughly take that off get that take that side off get your plug neutral earth live this side push it right in till it clicks and that's that done and that is so so much quicker easier it fits through like a 32 mil hole or something when then you've got your feed uh, your switch wires in and out and then your plug just goes like that and it's above the ceiling they plug in and out very easy perfect if you're first fixing as well and just uh, leaving that hanging down so you've not got you could leave the lights turned on and stuff if you want, waiting for the plasters to finish. Uh, so that's that. And each order comes with this removal tool to get them back out there. So that's as simple as lining it up with the sides, like so, pushing it along. Sliding it along like that. Same again on the other side, because I want to use this again. I've got exactly 21 of them. Slide them over and they just come back out. You don't need to put earth sleeving on it. Um, don't know why, but you just don't. Can't remember the reason why. Right, so, the reason that I thought I'd never use these when I first seen them is because I always use down lights when I'm supplying them. I always use down lights. Do you mind? Right, let's just wait for that to go overhead. We supply down lights such as the online e6 pros and stuff like that you've seen me use them they come with a plug on and they accept two twin and earths which is perfect for what i need so i thought i'd never need these but for for doing things like this where because we get loads and loads of eicrs where you've got to re repair the 
the fact that the single insulation is basic insulation is hanging out the back of the fitting this is absolutely perfect for that it's perfect for those just not everyone uses the the ones that uh accept swing and earth anyway like i said you can then second fix first fix second fix at the same time turn the lights back on and the plasterers ain't going to be bashing around the lights because you can just uh, leave your light like that made up plug it in once the ceiling's done which is pretty uh pretty cool it's it's proper quick as well i can see where they get the name quick wire from not to be confused with rapid rapid wire uh, speedy wire uh, expeditious wire or oh, that's well fast that bro wire you know it's, it's none of them it's quick wire they're absolutely bang on and i'm going to take you over to the job now and i'm going to show you all right let me just move the uh, ladder. So this is why it failed DICR because obviously it's 21 of these that are like that. So I'm just going to chop them all off and uh, use the quick wires. Pretty simple. So as you can see, they're not made to get to with them in there in the first place. So these quick wire connectors are absolutely perfect for doing this. Now that was easy. 20 to go. little tip that I've already found making this a bit easier because obviously this this needs to be quite short to be inside the plug because your flex is only that long it's easier to just get them connected up like that grab that end of the grab this end of the flex pull it pull the cords through so you get them nice and uh, nice and tight in there like that easy and then obviously you just you've got to, you've got to struggle with one end not really struggling like it's just uh, it's a bit it's a bit less fiddly when the cables are a bit longer there. You got that like that. That's that sorted. And that's how it's supposed to be. So If you do use that kind of light with where it needs just a flex, them quick wire connectors are absolutely bang on. Can't fault them at all. And obviously EICR remedials like this, because this is quite a common problem, doing loads of EICRs at the minute. This is an absolutely brilliant way to fix that. Right, that's that first first bathroom done for lights. Took about 25 minutes, but I was filming and taking photographs and stuff of the connectors. And I could probably do at a nice steady pace, it'd probably take me about three minutes to do everything. Maybe if you bought the pre made up leads, maybe two minutes each, which is pretty good. Uh, obviously, the the actual quick connectors probably take about 10 seconds, maybe 15. So let's give them the first switch on. See if there's any issues. Nope. Sorted. I'm really happy with them. They are extremely good. I mean, that section where the twin and nerves go is, is, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it would have changed anything on them. Yeah, probably this section here. That screwing section there for the flex, I'd prefer 
to see like the, the lever type, you know, like away goes lever for the flex saves if you want to be anal putting ferrules and stuff and like that that bit there is so fast I think this kind of lets it down a tiny bit I mean I trust the screw in connector probably more than a lever connector but for speed I think a lever would be a lot faster there no matter what you're still always going to have the screw in connectors on the back of that kind of light anyway especially well most of them some of them have their pushing things and stuff nowadays but they're the ones that are usually made for twin and earth and as we know these ones are not so we're still uh, we've got plenty of stuff to do here i'm still sort of halfway through doing any icr here as well I told you that it already had um you all know that i do sometimes sometimes i do the icr straight away on electrophone but a lot of the time i'll just write down as i'm going along because we also had to sort out a loose connection on the sockets and we also had to change the shower isolator because it was burnt it's a rental obviously it's empty at the moment um so i've just had to we just whizzed around every socket tighten them up property's only seven years old which makes it kind of a shame that someone has installed 21 down lights knowing full well that they shouldn't have the basic insulation outside of the enclosure but they've done it anyway they've probably done it on the whole estate the whole place is probably exactly the same right anyway so yeah i'm gonna crack on carry on with all these other down lights finish the icr i've sort of done half of i've sorted the socket fault out already and i've changed the shower isolator so we can crack on with that now Right, as you can see behind me, in there, around here, I've just pulled down all the down lights, every single one of them is obviously, got the cores hanging out, so what I've decided to do is I've got a little setup on this table now, and I'm just going to put all these plugs on, because that's quite time consuming I suppose, um, so I'm just going to whip all them together, same time consuming, it probably only take me about 20 minutes, not too bad, and then I'm going to whiz through. So there's no point in me really uh, videoing anything else about this because it's just going to be the same thing you've already seen just another 20 times, so if you enjoyed the video, yeah, let's give you a bit of a nice view, eh? just for the outro. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.